Hey, what's up guys? Nighthawk is back. I know it's been a few days, even maybe a week since I've actually put out an actual vlog besides those couple minute videos about uh, the road rage, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I started a new job, so I haven't really had time. But uh, it's a nice night out tonight. It's gonna rain for the next four days, so I figured I'd come out here, take a ride, and make a vlog. But uh, hope you guys have been doing well. Looks like I gained a few new subscribers, so welcome and, and thank you for su the support. It's great. I think I'm only at like 30 right now, but uh, it'll grow. It's not much traffic out right now, which is good. Usually a Saturday night is pretty busy, but it looks pretty good right now. I'm on my way right now to the gas station and I think I'm going to hit the red box, see if there's any good movies out. Kind of in the mood for a horror movie. Maybe my wife will watch it with me, we'll see. I'm still looking for a new bike, but uh, I'm having a hard time finding one in the price range I'm looking for. Um, I did see this 02 CBR 954 I liked, but... Uh, the more I read about it, the more it seems I should just go for the CBR 1000. I am still looking for a G6R 750. That's my number one choice, but they're just uh, kind of popular and kind of expensive. I'm not looking to spend five grand on a bike right now, uh, especially when I have one that runs fine. But yeah, so I'm still looking for another bike. I'm not going to sell this one. I love the Nighthawk. I just want something a little more aggressive with a little bit more power. This thing has enough power for around town, but I don't know. When can you ever have enough power? Or I should say, when can you ever have too much power? So if you guys in the Boise, Meridian, should even California area, because I'm willing to go to California and get a bike, because I know you can get some pretty good deals out there more people more bikes but uh, let me know because yeah like I said I'm looking for uh, I'll say 05 to 07 G6R 750 under 20,000 miles taken care of preferably all stock or an 04 to 07 CBR 1000 um, I could say around 20,000 miles or less uh, preferably all stock and I always say all stock because a lot of the guys that modify their bikes fuck them up, whether they are running lean with the new exhaust or whatever the fuck it is, and I just don't want to deal with it. I'd rather have an all stock bike that I can make my own. Stretch out my inner pocket here, see if that works. I used to have bags on this bike, little small sport bike bags, but not anymore. Let's hope this works. Don't you guys just love the sound of this exhaust? I do. I don't think I'll ever go back to stock on a motorcycle. Where can I go? 
from like 0 to 75 when the speed limit's 55. Just don't tell the cops. Promise. Don't tell the cops and we'll be real good. I love this bike. This would be the perfect bike if it was fuel injected. That's probably the only complaint I have about it. Although, with these new jets, it doesn't even fucking matter. This thing starts up on cold start like nothing. Better than some fuel injected bikes. I think even the CB919 that's fuel injected has a manual choke on it just in case. and. I see some guys on YouTube with it that have tried to cold start it and they need that choke. I mean, this thing, you don't even need it. You know, when it's five degrees out here at wintertime, then yeah, you're going to need it, but I think we're sitting at like 40, 50 degrees right now and it just starts like nothing. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here, guys. Again, I appreciate the support. I know I'm up to like 30 subscribers. Hopefully it keeps on rising. But uh, for now, you guys have a good night.